Every teen mother faces problems throughout their journey. What will they do about school? Baby clothes? All the other expenses? I'm here today with Michaela Fries to talk about the programs she used to make the process of being a teen mother become a little easier. My name is Michaela Fries. I am 17 years old, and my first day of senior year, I found out I was pregnant. The first place Michaela went was Portico. This is a pregnancy support center that offers free ultrasounds and counseling for people who may not know what to do or would like to just explore other options. First place I went was Portico. It's a pregnancy crisis center. I went in and I told them what was going on and they gave me a pregnancy test there. It came back positive, so she kind of talked to me about what my options were. And they did a free ultrasound to just confirm I was pregnant. Okay. They Portico does have counselors on site to talk to, uh, to just help you sort things out and so you don't have an emotional breakdown about it all. They also have a shop inside of Portico for where you can go and purchase stuff uh, like baby clothes and cribs and you earn them by taking parenting classes. For each hour of parenting classes you take, you earn a certain amount of baby bucks and those can be used in the shop. You can buy a crib for 10 baby bucks, which is equivalent to $10. The next thing Michaela did was get involved in a group. Here at New Vision Baptist Church in Murfreesboro, they host a group called Embrace Grace, a nonprofit organization that provides spiritual, emotional, and practical support for young women involved in an unplanned pregnancy. This group met every week to talk, read through the Bible, and have counseling sessions. This helped women who were Christians but were also having an unplanned pregnancy find some peace and feel like that the church didn't hate them because they were going through an unplanned pregnancy. I found out about Embrace Grace through one of the counselors at Portico who ended up being, becoming my mentor. She then handed me a pamphlet of this program called Embrace Grace at New Vision Baptist Church. She said her and her friend were taking this program this ministry that had started in a different place and they were bringing it to New Vision. I went and they offered a lot of support and a lot of help for unplanned pregnancies and moms who are struggling, whether you are with or without the father. The women at Embrace Grace threw Michaela a baby shower, giving her the things she really needed but didn't have the money to spend on them. Michaela said that this helped her a ton in the process of making sure her son had everything he needed to have a happy life. They do offer a baby shower for these moms and you get tons of stuff and it's all donated just by the kindness of people's hearts. I got a free car seat and with a matching stroller. I got a crib. I got a pack and play. I got a high chair. I got tons of diapers and tons of clothes. We got monogrammed burp cloths. Everything they did was just so nice and it was just because they wanted to help and make things so so much less stressful on the moms. From Embrace Grace, you really get to learn about the love of God and how he doesn't hate you for becoming a teen mom or just uh, having a child out of wedlock. Embrace Grace is offered all over the country in local churches, or if you are even interested in leading a group, you can also do that. Go to www.embracegrace.com for more information. The website is super easy to access and very straightforward. The website even includes online testimonials and podcasts that could be used for inspiration. The next obstacle was where was Easton going to go once Michaela had to return to work? The United States Health and Human Services Department has created a program called Head Start that provides early childhood education services to low-income children and families. Because I am a teen mom and it's just me and my son, I am considered low-income. Because of this, I had child care at reduced rates. I can start taking Easton there when he's six weeks old, and I can take them there from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. while I work. Children in the Head Start program receive the same exact education as a child going to any other preschool. This chart here shows that children going through a group, such as Head Start, are even to be more successful than others. Head Start has been proven to be very successful and for sure helps low-income families who cannot maybe afford preschool. Another program is WIC, a federal assistance program of the Food and Nutrition Service of the USDA. This gives young expecting mothers health care and nutrition up until the child is five. This may include food stamps or anything like that to help a mother get food. When I was pregnant, I got on WIC. It stands for Women, Infant, and Children, and it helps give groceries each month to pregnant women or women who have just had babies. Because of this, I was able to get lots of items such as milk, cheese, 
peanut butter and cereal to help make sure that my baby was getting the nutrients he needed while I was pregnant. Only 40% of teen mothers graduate high school and earn a degree. Michaela was a straight-A student always, and education has always been very important to her. Being a mother wasn't going to stop her from finishing school and graduating. She got on Homebound, a program for teenagers who, under certain circumstances, may not be able to attend school. This will help Michaela finish school and graduate on time. I had Easton, I was granted six weeks maternity leave. In Homebound, I had a teacher that I would meet with twice a week for an hour and a half each time. This gave me time to be able to be a mom and recover from my postpartum. In this hour and a half, she would sit there and help me with whatever homework I needed help with, and I would complete my assignments for her to turn in. My senior year, I made almost straight A's the entire year while pregnant and while on maternity leave. Today, Michaela has a very happy, healthy baby boy who is a month old. Michaela feels like Easton has everything he needs and feels very confident about the life he has ahead of him. Michaela is even graduating from high school next week and plans on attending college full-time in the fall. Being a mom hasn't stopped her from being successful, and these programs have shaped her into the successful young mother she is today.